Welcome to Channel A Mac, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day, everyone. My name is Carl Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Uh, today's video we would like to take you to the depths of skill assessment in particularly I'm gonna take you into the en Engineer Australia. Uh, Engineer Australia is the assessing authority uh, under the legislative instrument of migration regulations by uh, assessing all the engineering required and also related occupations so for example if you're an engineer of a civil uh, material um, what, what else petroleum and um, mechanical electronic uh, electrical uh, engineer you are all required to go to engineering australia so without a skill assessments it, it you cannot actually do much with the visa under the the independent skill migration or general skill migration or even the employment sponsor migration category so skill assessment is very very vital for you to actually come to australia with the visa and ultimately to become a permanent residency so today's video i'll take you into the depths of the engineer australia and show you how it actually is and which website you can go and what and how to direct with you all with all the pathways that you're required to be done all right so let's jump into it now engineer Australia it's quite easy all you need to do is go to Google and just typing engineer Australia is what it is down here engineer Australia and you should be able to land yourself into this web page and within this web page it's quite easy to navigate so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull you to the very left hand side where you see the little red menu here or oh, you can go through there once you click it comes out with that little uh, sidebar coming out or uh, the other way is you can we can actually focus the middle and if you see full migrant with a little airplane a purple airplane here once you click on there that's for all the resources for migration purposes so once you're getting there it's it, it actually gets you to numbers of different categories so it, it basically say uh, as it says helping professional migrant professionals migrate to australia so you need to apply again with a big red button in the middle it says apply for migration skill assessment that's pretty obvious because without assessments we do not know or immigration would not uh, you know take your application uh, with whatever the occupation that you nominated for so you need to mandatory to go through the skill migration uh, skill assessment in order to migrate to Australia so that's another vital key here okay now the other pages I want to take you is actually the next one is actually go to um, where it says the uh, the pathways there there are actually different pathways to go in there so there's a skill migration assessment here and once you click in there it goes to a pathway so this is the very vital one because you need to find out which pathway is more suitable for your um, situation so when let me pull these down with a little pr uh, uh, diagram down here and I move to a bit down here so now if you cannot find this website you know you can just leave a comment I can send you the actual link straight away so it says here the first one says my qualification is accredited by engineer Australia so that is the very easiest part so for example if you have come to Australia and study an engineering course generally 99% you will land it yourself here so all you need to do is is have your completion letter have your graduation certificate plus the transcripts and all you need to do is go to this engineer Australia and apply and there will be a portal you attach all your information there and that will be done make sure for skill assessing authorities nowadays everything shall be scanned in colors okay and once you get that done so you get that big tick yes and then you go down here and you got got that all done okay now the other way is if you see my qualification qualification is from a country where which is full signatory to be Washington Accord okay now and that's a different part now there's a Washington Accord and there's also okay let me just jump back here there's Washington Accord there's Sydney Accord and there's also a Dublin Dublin Accord there's different three different ones so as long now how do you find out 
uh, whether your courses or your universities is actually within those a uh, court. What you need to do is go to Google, whichever the country, for example, you're, if you're a country in, in Hong Kong, for instance, okay, you type in Hong Kong and you space Washington Accord or space Sydney Accord or space Dublin Accord or the autom uh, alternatively, you can type in your uh, the, the Hong Kong and then space your engineering uh, uh, association or society in, in that particular country. Then you, you, should you should be able to find out which Accord or signatory that the country is actually uh, s s signatory of. And then once you find that out, all you need to do is find out your course and your university is within that signatory. So, for instance, the your country may be signed within the signatory on two thousand and thirteen, but you have graduated or you have studied uh, before that date. Then you will not be meeting this criteria, and that's pr problematic. We will talk about that later. Anyway, if you can find that your country and your course and your qualification is within these three accords, all you need to do is get that relevant accord uh, documents, uh, evidence or documents and then you apply through that pathway and you will land it at the same place so you will, you will get that skill assessment done now these two are the easiest way of getting skill assessed as an engineer now what if your university or your country and your course is not in these accords or in the in the accredited program within engineer australia then that's the problem problematic pack now that will lend you right down here as you can see okay your qualification it says it, it reads that my qualification is not either not accredited or it is not from non accord listed countries or then you need to go down or down here and then you have to apply what it says apply under competency dem uh, demonstration report cdr pathway now what does that mean now cdr requires you to demonstrate your knowledge by providing three reports now three report can be dissected into three case studies now this case study can be formed from your previous uh, qualification or previous courses in within bachelor or master degree or in or uh, within whatever you have done during your um, career for example you, if you're a civil engineer obviously you will be you you'll be doing a final report for your bachelor degree so once you graduated you have that report you can submit that as the first cdr case and the other two may be through your working experiences so you have joined an, a civil engineering firm for the last five years and there has been numerous three five ten different projects that you've been involved in you need to put that in writing and, and bound it all that together as a cdr report and submit it all together to to the engineer australia then they will assess your knowledge and your skill based on those uh, case studies and once that's all done obviously you will be getting a positive result out of that now there are professional firms out there to assi assist you to actually writing this report as well but, but if you do need those kind of services do let us know so we can send you those referral links too okay now jumping back let me have a look now if we go back to the uh the web page here it does provide you a link where you can find out accredited program as well so once we go in a migration assessment uh it, it does provide you you see there's different the pathway that we have just talked about okay and you can also go into the M msa quick guidelines now the guideline basically was spells out what we have basically just discussed with okay and that also other forms and for migration agents as well now the other link here if you cannot find it I, i'll be able to uh uh, finding out for you is the this uh, document here now this one is very vital now for a lot of people they want to find out what courses is actually the accredited program let me just magnify that a bit okay so you can see that much more clear okay now bear in mind if you cannot find this link um, you can leave a comment down below i can send you the link you can actually download this pdf of engineer australia so this basically gives you all the accredited program and courses around the world now there are a few 
outside of Australia and predominantly most of them are within Australia so if you study these courses you automatically get into that first pathway so you don't have to go to CDR you don't have to find out Washington call Sydney or call whatever they call that that's required so uh, now let's have a look there's a there's Australian College of Kuwait so there's some college in Kuwait you can actually take that as again that gives you when the course is actually commenced so some started from 2012 some started in 2009 there's a program created current enrolled engineer in Dublin court as well uh, and there is uh, Australian Maritime College okay the uh, and also Let's have a look of other ones. Uh, Australian University, Australian National University. Obviously, that's down in Canberra, uh, and they have updated with all the courses up there. Uh, they are um, Central Queens Queensland Universities. Now, the the list goes beyond all the way down to. Okay, what's the very last one? Victoria University. So basically, it's all here. So, but if you're a international student, I don't think you need to worry too much because 99% of the course, if you pick an engineer, you you're you're more than likely 99% to find yourself at your course to be as the accredited uh, qualification within an engineer Australia. If you if you do choose to study in Australia, now, uh, but obviously the 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 list. It will be very helpful to actually pick what sort of specification because in engineering, engineering there's a lot of different specs you may want to go to that university but they don't provide that typical specification you want to pick something else then that obviously that list will be very very helpful anyway uh, if you do have any further questions feel free to leave a comment down below and we will respond to you in a timely manner and once again if you do like our video consider to subscribe and um, put the likes and also the little bell at the side uh, take it so we once we have a new updated video and uh, news you get you'll be the first one to get that updates thank you for watching I see you for the next video. Goodbye.